When I say the word Islam or Muslim, what are the three things that come to your mind first? Islam, Muslim, uh, I would say praying, uh, hospitality and sort of love for your neighbour and Beautiful. people around it. Love. And probably the Middle East. Middle East, excellent. Have you had much interaction with Muslims? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, from what you said, I take it you have, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know much about Islam as a religion, what we're about? Um, I know some stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know as much as I would like to know. So what we're doing today, we're giving people the opportunity. We're giving out the Quran. Yeah. And we're giving people the opportunity to actually read it in English to find out what Islam is. Actually, a friend of mine gave me one last week. So oh, really? I, I have one Excellent. at home and, uh, and we were chatting about, a lot about it. Uh, yeah. and, I've, and I've started to look through it to just get a better understanding of it. Do so you? I don't need another copy. Okay, fantastic. I've, uh, yeah, I've started looking more and more into it. Do you follow a faith yourself? Do you have a belief? Or? Uh, from like a philosophical perspective, I'm a Buddhist. Okay. Um, I, and when it comes to spirituality, it's more undefined. We'll see. We're going to jump in this conversation. Gentleman's a Buddhist. No, no, I'm just like, join in the conversation because. No, yeah. no, it's fine. So, the gentleman obviously asked me a few questions. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, had the experience. Bit, but, yeah. yeah. Do you have any questions about Islam? Um, I don't have a huge amount, but one question that I got into a really interesting discussion with my friend about recently is when, you've, when you're doing uh, your prayers in the mornings, etc., and he was saying how for him it was. It was a way to, for him like be doing it on such a sort of regular schedule. It was how he sort of grounded his day, structured his day around it, and it gave him. It was, it was kind of meditative uh, in how he did it and stuff. What's your it's like? How does it how does it influence your way that you plan your day in a few weeks and stuff like that? And does it give you that sense of structure or? Excellent. So, so as Muslims, we believe we have a purpose in this life. And that purpose is quite clearly outlined to us in the Quran. God says that we did not create, or He did not create us except to worship Him. Now, worship is uh, in a holistic sense, not just the rituals of praying five times a day, but in our show, we're living our life how God wants us, wants us to live. Being good to your wife, earning an honest living, all these things are all acts of worship, speaking the truth and many other things. Living your life how He wants you to live it is, is worship. Submitting to His to His will and His command, etc. And the guidance He sent us. And we believe that the messengers uh, are the carriers of this guidance. We came to their people over, over the many, many years, okay, with the message for them. And the core message was the same. Worship the one who created you. Don't worship the tree, the moon, the sun, or any human being. Worship the creator of everything, okay? And that's our means of salvation. If we follow that guidance. The final is that Quran you've been given last week, okay? Uh, if you follow that guidance as human beings, uh, you will have salvation on the, on the day of judgment hereafter. Um, so that your question about the five daily prayers, not only does it give us a structure to our day and our lives, it gives us purpose and meaning, because that is the essence of our life to worship the Creator and that's one form of doing it and it's a reminder because you know you go about your busy day you're doing your uh, daily activities of you know working and this and that and, and socializing whatever but you take a break and you remind yourself look this is why I'm here because tomorrow is not guaranteed to any, for any one of us okay but we have that daily reminder this is why you actually create this is what you're made to do okay and this is what will save you on the on the day of judgment do you believe in a hereafter uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying this video and benefiting from it. Something that's come to our attention, what we've noticed is nearly 90% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. We want to make you guys aware that One True Message Foundation is completely non-for-profit. We are a non-profit organization and subsequently we've turned off all advertising on YouTube. What we need you guys to do is share the khair with us, subscribe, like and share this video to anybody else that you think may benefit. A small action but we want you guys to share the reward and help spread the One True Message. Jazakumullah khair brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. For the spirit, not for the physical. Of course, I, 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 I believe that our energy and the energy that we've created in our life that will continue in some form. No doubt, no doubt. I mean, our spirits never die. Death is just separation of body from soul. Okay, our spirit continues to live, and on the day of judgment, we will be brought back, but in a physical sense as well. Okay, we believe, uh, and we will live in paradise and in a physical sense. 
not just in a spiritual sense, yeah. uh, eternally in both of, both of those places. Uh, but our means to have a good end and meet our creator. Do you believe in a creator? Uh, I, so Call it what you like, energy, I, semantics. Yes, but, exactly. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's when one starts to formalize it and tries to understand it with the structures of our own physical world, then stuff starts to break down and doesn't really make sense and start to ask questions that don't really make sense in the context. Um, but I believe that there is that there are energies and powers that go beyond what we can observe okay. Yes, right. okay. yeah. um, in that sense. So, for, so going, go ahead. Well, I was, I was, as a follow-up question, because some of the stuff that I thought... Uh, so I've, I've recently been doing a lot with um, Pal um, Oxford Action for Palestine and oh, yeah. doing different stuff there. And what, what really impressed me was how the communities uh, that were sort of built around a mosque came out in support and supported one another. And so how does... So clearly the community plays a huge role. No doubt. What, how, what, what role does community play in, in, in your faith? So yeah, as Muslims, we are, we are brothers to one another. Brothers and sisters, there is this sort of brotherhood and sisterhood internationally. Okay. So when one part of the, uh, we call it the Ummah, which is the global uh, sort of family, if you want to call it that. When one part is suffering, we all feel the pain. Okay, so that's why you may wonder why is a person here who may not have the same ethnic background and language and culture, etc. Why is he so, so hurt? Of course, every human would be hurt by injustice. But as, as Muslims, we feel that pain even more. Because if your loved one was being harmed, uh, you would have sleepless nights. You would, have, you would feel the pain of that injustice that's been acting on them. So uh, that's there. And as well as that, it connects. Uh, us as, as Muslims, as well as human beings, now that we have a, uh, that relationship as human beings with any human being, okay? If someone was suffering, uh, we wouldn't look at what nationality, or language, etc. You help that person, that's human nature. But uh, another level is that connection in belief, that we both worship the same Creator. We, be we, worship the s we believe in the same guidance, we follow the same Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So we have that connection there in that sense as well, irrespective of our uh, all the superficial things, mm -hmm. language, professions, all these sort of superficial things that we've happened to happen to have, um, but it's that internal connection that we have uh, as uh, as Muslims on, on the planet. Uh, so community is a huge part of it, no doubt, no doubt. Beautiful. Thanks so much. We're, we have to keep going. So well, thank you for stopping. Thank, yeah, thank you for not a problem. taking the time. We, uh, I mean, um, we we're here every Saturday. I don't know if you guys are. Busy. We're, we're not London based. Okay. Uh, uh, we're 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 very uh, established online. So yeah. you have a uh, on Instagram. You can message us anytime on uh, One True Message Foundation. We have an admin here. They'll pick up any questions I will, you have. I will take a picture of it. So that this friend may see. not. Yeah, no, you can keep it. I'll probably with loads of these. So, um, so if you have any questions, your friend may not may not be able to answer. You can pop us a message on there, uh, and one of the guys can help you with the answer. There. Amazing. Have a good day. Enjoy your journey. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.